Biosecurity has certainly been one of the main focuses for me over the past six to 12 months. We've got $230 million on the table around biosecurity. And the latest round of that is opportunities for landowners to actually get grants as part of a program around a biosecure production zone. That means there'll be grants available for landowners to actually construct exclusion fencing. We're trying to make sure we keep animals in certain areas. Neighbours can combine their efforts and make sure that that exclusion zone extends even further. Uh, and part of that is around knowing how we can best manage uh, pests into the future, but also if we have a problem like foot and mouth disease or lumpy skin disease into the future, we know where animals can or can't get to or from. Yeah, with a season like this, it's going to be a bonus, you know. Um, yeah, not having the pest animals just wandering. Erected the exclusion fence two and a half years ago, and that's played a big part to um, our biosecurity plan. It's important to us, we can control paddocks, spell paddocks, um, and yeah, just have control of what we put in them. This project will see landholders be able to erect exclusion fencing on their properties. We'll assist them to be able to do that through incentive funding. It will also provide funding to be able to do intensive pest control at initial knockdown level and then follow up control over the years to come. This program is really designed to help landowners combat some of the, the really problem predators we have across Western New South Wales. Everything from feral pigs uh, to wild dogs, wild cats. There's a range of issues that our landowners face. This predator proof fencing will help combat some of those in a really meaningful way uh, and those grants are available right now.